Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Corey Saifu with your Daily Dose of Math Mastery. So, yesterday's question was a bit difficult, I understand. Some people have been complaining on the message board. <laughs> that is very stressful. <coughs> <It's> a <coughs> yeah, alright. So anyways, um, today's question is a bit more difficult than um, yesterday's, right? Well, I mean, today's question, okay? So if you take a look at the question again, the question was, Farmer Brown has some chickens. Oops, where am I doing? <laughs> okay. Farmer Brown has some chickens and ducks. If he sells two chickens and three ducks per day, there will still be 50 chickens left when all the ducks have been sold. If he sells 30, three chickens and two ducks each day, there will still be 15 chickens left when all the ducks have been sold. The question is, how many more chickens than ducks does Farmer Brown have? So let me just quickly look for you the answer. Okay, the answer is... Give me a second, yeah? Okay, the question is... Hey, the, okay, where is it? <laughs> okay, here they are. Okay, there are 42 chickens and there are oh, what happened here? Okay. There are 42 chickens and there are 78 eh, 42 ducks lah. Sorry, 42 ducks and 78 chickens. Okay? And hence the answer is how much? 78 minus 42 which actually equals to 36. So answer is 36. If you got that right, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay. Now, this is a bit difficult, but I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you something that I didn't teach you in the past two ones, uh, two questions that is similar to this, which is something called LCM. Have you heard of LCM? LCM is actually lowest common multiple. Okay. So what it basically means is you have to make sure that the ratio here and the ratio here are actually the same. Okay, and you have to make sure that the one they say the ducks have been sold, all ducks have been sold. Use a, let me use a different color. Okay, when they say that the ducks have been sold, you have to make sure that you base it on the number of ducks. So in this case, it's 2 is to 3 for the first case, right? And the second case is 3 is to two so which one do you make the same is it this one or this one since they say all ducks have been sold and they are total uh, the number of ducks is the same you have to make sure that this number is actually the same this one and this one has to be the same so you what's the lowest common multiple is three times two so it's six okay so all you have to do is times two to the other side so four times two times two is four and next one is actually six to the power of no nine to the power of because times three yeah 9 to the power times 9. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm having a little cold here, so my mind is a bit off. But 9 is to 3. Okay? 9 is to 3. So, having known this, all you have to do is plug it into the previous models that I've taught you. So, you can delete everything here. Okay? And I am going to draw for you the models. So, in the first scenario, in the first scenario, what did they say? In the first scenario, it says that, oops, what happened here? Okay. In the first scenario, it says that 2 is to 3. So this is the number of chickens and this is the number of ducks. So 2 is to 3. I'm just going to draw for you quickly. 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And there are how many uh, chickens left? There were 60, right? There were 60 chickens left. No, there were 50. There were 50 left. So imagine there's 50 here. Okay, so this is 50. And in the second example, there is actually chickens to ducks was actually 3 is a 2. 1, 2, 3, and 1 and 2. And the leftover was 15. Am I right? Yep, correct. So the leftover was 15. So let's imagine this is 15. And just now we found out that you must make 2 is to 3 as 4 is to 6. And this one from 3 is to 2, you have to make it to 9 is to 6. Correct? So all you have to do here is to draw the lines to make sure it looks like that. So ducks, so you have to make sure it's 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And in this case, 9 is to 6. Wow, that's a big change. So 1 has to have 1, 2, 3, no that's 4 already. 1, ok, 
Okay, just draw, just draw six here, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, there's six units here. Oh, no, there's nine. Oh, so, sorry. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good job. And you have to must you must have six here. So we just draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So number of ducks here and number of ducks here are the same. So all you have to do is make merge it into one. And in other words, you erase the one below. And you'll be able to see that. This number of units here and this number of units here are the same. So in this case, all you have to find out is um, tr 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units plus 60, a eh, plus 50 is equals to what's here? 9 units plus 15. So you do the manipulation, in other words, you bring this over to here, and hence you get 5 units equals to and you bring this over here you bring this over here 50 minus 15 equals to 35 and hence one unit equals to what um, 7 okay so you know that there's number of ducks is 7 times 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 which equals to 7 times 6 what 7 times 6 Ah, 42. Okay. And here there is 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 times 4 is 7.2128 plus 50 is actually equals to 78. So the answer is 78 minus 42, which will give you 26. And that is the answer. I mean, 36. Man, this call is really bugging me. 36 is the answer. With that, if you got it right, high five, you are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, for those of you who have been complaining, huh? Complaining. Hmm. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little break. I'm gonna give you a simple question today. And the question is the number of red marbles was five seven that of yellow marbles. The number of blue marbles was two third that of red marbles. Find the ratio of the number of yellow marbles to the number of blue marbles. Very easy. Very, very easy. Primary five kick can do this. Remember, at the end of the day, I want you to prepare. Be prepared because victory loves preparation. And with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.